Hello guys, welcome to your first Code Igniter tutorial, and this is going to be the first in a series of Code Igniter tutorials. Now, I've been doing a couple of tutorials on Ruby on Rails, and I did stop for a little while because I was kind of busy, but I will continue on. And I'm going to be doing in parallel with Code Igniter, so you're free to check out the, the Rails tutorial as well. Um, in this series, I'm just going to go from the basics all the way to more advanced topics. So why would you want to use Code Igniter? First of all, Code Igniter is a PHP framework used to build web applications, anything like um, like a social media website like Twitter and all the way to an e-commerce site. So the reason why you want to use Code Igniter is because it's probably the easiest one, the easiest PHP framework to get started with. It's going to help you understand the MVC architecture which Code Igniter uses, the Model B controller, and also because their user guide is probably the best user guide known in the PHP community as far as you know beginners concerned so as you can see here everything is very neatly organized and it actually has some pretty good examples so if you go here you can see all these examples here they're pretty easy to understand so this is one of the main reasons people choose this framework also you could go to the forum and it's very active especially now that Codec Network um, the project has already has already gone to to GitHub, it's already getting a lot of more attention. So you can see there's thousands of, of um, topics got started already. And you could ask a question there and there's gonna be an answer almost, you know, the second day or something, even a couple of minutes. And something that this um, this framework has is an IRC channel built in, in the in the website. So you could just click on this, put your name, whatever you want. You could come in as different names, nobody's gonna notice, and then just type in the recaptcha and you're going to go live with people that could help you if you have any questions. So it's very active. Um, there are some downsides, however. The the two main downsides people are going to tell you not to use Code Igniter is because it doesn't have something called an ORM. It's an object relational mapper. It doesn't have it built in. And the reason why you want to use something like that is because if you want to build a really complicated application, you need an ORM, like Active Record. And luckily, people saw this problem so they develop a new website called um, Code Igniter Sparks and basically these are just libraries that extend the Code Igniter framework and we're going to be talking about this obviously and um, it has already an active record in there it's got an ORM which we could install to extend the Code Igniter library the framework I mean the second thing that people are going to tell you that the Code Igniter framework doesn't have is something called an authentication and you use those things to, if you're building your own website, you want users to um, authenticate themselves. You know, you want them to, you want to know who they are, but you don't want to build your own authentication framework, your own system, because it's most likely going to be insecure. So what you could do is, you could use the authentication of Twitter, of LinkedIn, or some other of the popular um, social media websites, and you could use their system. And that way, when they log into their system, you know, they're logging into your application, you, you kill, you know, like two birds in one shot. And of course, in Sparks, we have um, an authentication here, which I think I saw not too long ago. Well, it's somewhere here. But there's obviously a lot of them here, which we could use. So the first thing you want to do is going to download, click on the latest version, which is going to be 2.12. I already have it downloaded, so... And here is my downloads page, and um, I have it here, so I'm just going to extract it to my desktop. You're also going to need, obviously, an over, you know, an understanding of PHP and MySQL. But you're also going to need a, a web server. So we're, I'm going to be using WAMP because I'm running on Windows. You could use MAMP if you're running on Mac OS. You could use LAMP if you're running on, on Linux. Or if you're running on either, either one of them, you could just install something called SAMP, which is cross-platform. You're also going to need uh, an editor. Now I'm going to be using an, an IDE called Aptana Studio. You're free to use whichever you have because your preferences might be depending on you know the amount of speed your computer has and uh, to be fair Aptana Studio is quite heavy on the memory so I would not recommend that if you have a pretty um, you know <laughs> pretty bad computer. So I'm going to be using this here so let's go back to our folder here and when you install WAMP or SAMP or anything you're gonna have a folder um, I have something called here um, 
I installed it in my E drive. So I have WAMP and then I have my WW folder. And I already made a shortcut to it in my desktop. So this is the folder where I'll be putting all my projects. I usually put all my projects here on um, Ruby projects, um, PHP, and I'm um, recently I just started using something called Senja. So I'm, I'm putting all my projects here because it's able to use the web server. So I'm going to drag this here, but um, I'm going to rename it first because it's a little too long. So I'll rename this to code or whatever you want. Uh, let's open this first and you're going to have a couple of folders here. Um, the first thing you want to do is just delete the license and the user guy. Uh, you will might, you might want to um, keep it if you want to for reference. And this basically is just the whole application. The application here is your application. System is basically all the files that make Codec Matter. Unlike Ruby on Rails, which it actually lives in your system. In PHP, you have to have it in this folder here. So let me drag this here. Okay, so let me just delete this now. And I should have it in my WAMP server. So it's going to be code. So that's here. So to open up your editor of choice, I'm going to open up Aptana Studio. And as well, don't forget to start your WAMP server or your MAMP server so you could start up um, Apache. I'm going to be talking about the structure of the folders in detail in the next video. So the first thing I want to do is um, create a new project, a PHP project. And since I already have the folder in there, um, I'm just going to put code. Remember that I have my web server in WAMP www slash code. So by doing this, I'm actually just going to open it. I'm not going to create a new project. So I'm just going to create it here. Let's open it. And I'm going to go to the App Explorer. And I'm going to go to um, to code. So this is the, the Code Igniter application. Uh, we're basically only going to use this here. This here, you know, that's for, for the future. So here's all the folders here. The first thing we want to do is we want to test if we actually have everything working correctly. So the way we do it is we have to use the MVC architecture. But since you're not going to understand it right now, just understand this, that the controller is going to control everything. That's where you're going to start. So if you go to controllers, you're going to see a file called welcome. So we're going to access this folder here, this file. So if we open it, we're going to have this built in already, um, this text here. So it's going to say uh, public function, and then it's going to say this function is going to load uh, this view. So we're going to load a view, which is the views folder here. And we're going to load the welcome message. So welcome message is here. So once I reach the welcome controller, I'm going to reach the welcome message. And this welcome message page is basically just a regular HTML page. Well, it's PHP, but you know, it's just all HTML. And it's got um, basic stuff here like on this page you're looking at is being generated dynamically by Coding Matter. So let's go to that um, the URL. So go to localhost like you've been doing on regular PHP files. And we're going to go to code because that's that's the name of project slash. Now you have to put index.php because it's actually built in the framework which you can later, uh, we're going to get rid of later. But don't worry about it too much. And then we're going to go to the controller. So the controller is going to be welcome. So we're just going to type in welcome. And by doing that, we go to welcome this controller here, and we're going to render this view here, which is the welcome message, which is this this guy here. It's this page. So this page here is the one we're looking at here. So if you got this message, that means you're doing it correctly. And if you didn't, we'll uh, put a comment or something so I can help you because it's really not, it shouldn't be that difficult. So that's all for now, and uh, in the next video, I'll be going over the folder structures along with um, any other questions you might have. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.